Hey everyone, I hope you're having an amazing day. It's Mark Weens. I'm in Colombo, Sri Lanka. Today I'm with the Best of Sri Lanka food tour with David, the hungry tourist. And we are, it's gonna be kind of a mixed day. We are starting off for lunch, an authentic Sri Lankan lunch. Then we're gonna have tea. And then tonight for dinner, we are gonna go to one of the most iconic crab restaurants in Colombo, in Sri Lanka to eat Sri Lankan crabs. Uh, but we just arrived for lunch. Let's go eat. This place is amazing. Cool. It's like 50 or 60 different uh, carries. And uh, all in banana leaf, you eat with your hands. It's just super amazing. You have a grill, you have like cold stuff, hot stuff. Hello. Hello, hello. We got into the restaurant. They even have a grill going in here. You can smell the smokiness. They have like kind of a uh, palm branch roof, all buffet style. Except, you, I mean, it's not all you can eat, but you get a plate. You choose which dishes you want. There's like maybe there's like 50 dishes. You can just see the clay pots going down the table. Uh, so there's quite a long line. So we're just waiting in line. We're gonna get rice. We're gonna choose our different dishes uh, and then eat. This is where it gets really tough because you actually have to make some decisions. Decisions, or can we get a little bit of everything? No, I don't, I don't even think that's possible to fit on a plate. Okay. Carpet fish. This one. What else? Okay, this one. I think that's good. Yes, thank you. Okay, so I go this side. Oh, the fried section. My plate is almost full, but then you move over to this section. I think this is the fried. Oh, this is the fried section, right? They will sausage, they will pork, they will fish, cuttlefish, prawn, and fried also, lake fish. Let's have Pack fish. this one, please. Thank you very much. That's huge, and this food really adds up. This like basket is. Oh, that entire basket is just filled with food. They put a lotus leaf plate down before they, they, they put all your food down. There's rice on the bottom. Looks and smells incredible. Just gonna go in for whatever is right on the top here. Some of this green vegetable with some of the rice. It's like a, an herb salad with coconut in it. Okay, okay. I think this one is some of the brinjals, which is eggplant. Again, I'm gonna mix that in. I did some trades while dinner, both places had Wi-Fi, I was happy. A brinjal, <laughs> the eggplant is amazing. It's sweet and sour, and like caramelized tasting. But, and again, it's, really, it's just sort of like melts in your mouth at the same time. Chicken curry, I believe. Mm. A little bit of a sour oniony taste. I'm gonna chase that with a chili. Oh, really? Oh, nice. You can eat the entire stem and all because they're deep fried chilies. This one is the shrimp curry. And typically when they make the shrimp curry, you can actually almost eat the shell because it's been stewed for so long. I really like mixing the rice with that with that herb salad. Into this bite. Oh wow. Nice little light lunch there. I feel like there's like two kilos of Sri Lankan food in my stomach right now, which is probably true. It's fun to choose, it's fun to eat. It's just a great, like relaxed place to try Sri Lankan food. <sighs> and nothing better to drink after a meal like that than a Sri Lankan king coconut. Mm, mm, mm. After a meal like that, with the amount of sweat that you've exerted and the, like, the energy you've put out to eat, you need to replace your electrolytes. Yeah, that tastes really good. It is a lot harder to walk out of the restaurant than it was to walk in the restaurant. Make a jump. To be honest with you, I'm not totally sure where we are, but I think we're here to drink some tea and maybe buy some tea. Uh, everybody, step in here. Hello, good afternoon. Good afternoon. Nice to meet you. Thank you. Thank you. This is actually a Dilma tea shop, and Dilma is one of the big brands of Ceylon tea. Uh, they have the, the shop here where you can order tea, but then I think you can also buy the tea on the other side, possibly. Oh, thank you very much. Roasted French of the flavored black tea with pineapple. Ah, cool. Oh, that is like a pineapple shake. 
and then one more over there. So you gotta, we gotta wait for the yellow sand to, to filter down, and then the tea will be finished steeping. I'm gonna need a magnifying glass. <laughs> <laughs> I'm flipping mine. I think it's good. I'm gonna wait another 30. Yeah, you wait another 30. Nice. And now I guess I crack this? Is that right? We gotta flip the tea over, take off the lid, oh, the little pop. Okay. And I love these cups, the double walled glass. It is a white tea, it smells very fruity, almost like peachy. And it is very light, very, very light, very like uh, a chill, chill tea. Cheers, guys. <laughs> A really relaxing tea indeed. And I'm enjoying this, we're all enjoying this lounge, this tea lounge. Good. Okay, next drink, I got a matcha. Oh, it's a cold one. Oh, I thought it was gonna be hot. It looks like a shot of wheatgrass. Oh, wow. That's not just matcha, that's like lime too. Oh, wow, that's awesome. Tastes like a straight lime juice matcha infusion. Yeah, that's awesome. It's not matcha like you think. It's like lime juice. Looks like she's taking a shot of tequila. Dinner tonight we are going to, it's one of the most iconic crab restaurants in Colombo, Ministry of Crab. They have half kilo small, medium large, XL kilo crab jumbo colossal, the OMG, and the Crabzilla. Thank you. Gonna put on the head nets, hair nets to go inside the kitchen and see some of the crabs cooking. Nice one. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> oh yeah. Ah. Oh, Sinan really needs one. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> oh. <laughs> I really need one. So much hair. <laughs> Not only do they have crab here, but massive Three, two, river prawns one. as well. One more. Okay. That thing is massive. Which dish are you making now? This is garlic crab. Um, and then he's just like carefully controlling the heat so that it bubbles, so that it steams, so that it cooks evenly and perfectly throughout the crab. They have a unique style of plating the crab with the shell on the bottom and the, the two claws in the front, um, and then the legs and the other like limbs like sprouting out of the main shell, um, and then pour on that like juice with the garlic and the sauce all over it. That smells incredible, and it goes straight to your table, piping hot, boiling, still boiling away on your plate. Okay, a couple of things. Uh, number one is that the Ministry of Crab, the restaurant, it's within the old Dutch hospital, so it has a colonial feel to it. Uh, the walls of the building are really thick, and then you have windows, you have the breeze, the air coming through. And Ministry of Crab is a restaurant on Asia's 50 best restaurants list. Uh, so it's one of the top restaurants in Asia, uh, known for their crab, but they also have river prawns. Unfortunately, it's not seasoned for the Crabzilla massive crab. Uh, but we got the next step, next step below, the OMG crabs. We got 15 of them. Before we start on the crabs, we are gonna have the clams and the river prawns. And it's amazing to see all of the woks going at once, flying on the woks, the steam rising, the aromatherapy is just insane. The garlic, the amount of garlic, the amount of butter. The fumes, the steam. I love clam. Yep. There's two more oyster shots. We're starting off with oyster shots. Okay, I actually totally forgot I had the hairnet on. Okay, oyster shots. Oh, that just slid out of the out of the toothpick. 
Oh, oh yeah. Dripping the juices. Oh yeah. That's just like a butter, butter creamy sensation. That does taste good. Really good. Thank you. Thank you very much. What is your name? Hosanna. Hosanna. Okay, he's offering to put my bib on. It's an offer I can't resist. <laughs> Keep calm and crab on. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Okay, cool. So the next course has arrived. These are the river shrimp, which they fried in like an immense amount of butter and garlic. The key to eating river shrimp is to lift up the helmet. Oh, it's so hot. Yeah. Wow. Oh, look at that. Oh, look at that tamale in there. It's like a little puddle. It's like a melted puddle of butter. You got to look into the interiors of that head. It's like sloshing around. It's like sloshing around in there. I'm gonna start with the body. Look, it's just dripping with oily juices. In fact, I'm gonna re-dip it actually. Re-dip in the butter juices. Okay. You gotta give it to this guy. It has Yeah. Oh wow. Yeah, that is stunning. Garlicky, buttery. How was that, dude? Crazy. You gotta give it to this place. We had some amazing crabs this week. But they have the act together. It's you like know. a it's such a well functioning system. Yeah. The way they have it down. And the, the product is amazing. What is your name? I'm Robert. Thank you for holding the light. Yeah. Thank you very much. <laughs> I'm gonna rehydrate. Say you went to a restaurant. Oh yes. Open. Say you went to a restaurant. What's up? What's up? What's up? What's up? It's so fat. It's so meaty. It's so plump. It's not super cheery the way they look. All right. Freedom of speech. Freedom. Ooh. 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 Are going at full uh, blast. Teamwork. It's teamwork. This beautiful. Is how you win the Super Bowl, guys. <laughs> it's, it's a beautiful culture. thing. It is a beautiful thing. Beautiful like that. is impressive to see them as they play that. They actually put down a little scoop of rice. That's only to hold the crab shell in place so they can create the formation. But it, it's impressive. It's almost like a sport, the way they, they compete. As soon as that crab comes off of the fire, it comes onto the countertop literally within milliseconds. They jump into that pan of crab. Um, they start formulating. They put the shell down first, the head top shell. And finally, they dump on the sauce, the remaining juices at the bottom of the wok. But that initial pounce, that initial reaction, the, the reflexes are incredible as soon as it comes off the fire. Tuna. We're gonna leave nothing but... Well, I think I'm done with the hairnet. Rocking, the baby. rocking the baby. There's like five different versions of crab you can get. I went with the black pepper. And again, this formation, the claws in the front. Um, what should we begin with? I think I'll start with the claws uh, because there's two of them. Okay, I'm gonna I'm gonna re get some of that that pepper sauce all over the the shell. Let it seep into the shell. Slide this out. Oh yes, it comes out. Sure, thank you very much. Okay, and I think actually the, the, the thing to do is refill, refill the claw. Hold on. Refill the claw with pepper sauce. Oh yeah, okay. Oh wow, oh the crab meat. It's like ridiculously sweet. It's so stringy. And then it's wrapped up in that sauce. 
The sauce is garlicky, a little bit peppery, and you taste like the, just the sweetness of that crab. The sweetness of the crab is insane. Okay, and then just go in for an entire spoon of shredded crab oh, yes. and pepper sauce. Oh. I'm drying uh, the swamp. I'm drying the swamp. Okay, a little piece of, little piece of shell. Look at this, look. Wow, that is awesome. At the end, there's gonna be sandwiches. It's amazing, an amazing product, an amazing crab. That's sauce. And actually, the, the black pepper, like, at first it seems kind of mild, but then it does start to, like, almost tingle your lips a little bit. How's the crab, guys? I have something for you. Share it with my friend. Oh, wow. Oh, yeah. Okay, so duty. Duty got the, um, this is the chili garlic, chili right? Chili garlic, yeah. So it's a totally different flavor. Thank you. You gotta grab one of mine, too. Mmm. Oh, yeah. The chili garlic is nice as well. It has kind of a, like, Asian Chinese kind of, like, wok fry yes, taste yeah. to it, yeah. But like kind of sweetness, a little bit chilly. It's good. You really taste the smokiness of the wok in that. Oh yeah, baby. Killing it. Having fun. Sykes, Messy, dirty, loving life, baby. <laughs> it's really good. This is loving. Mm. But you can take the bread like a sponge. Right, uh, sponge it. And sponge it. <laughs> Take all the goodies from inside. Sponge juice it. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, we're just talking how pure this crab tastes. It really is pure. You really taste the quality of their crab. Um, the sweetness is undeniable. And you're gonna wanna Lick every last crevice on this crab. Any of this, uh, and bite out every single piece of meat. Look at that one biter. I think I'm gonna add some more sauce to it. What I like about the sauce is that it's not overpowering. You still really taste the natural taste of the crab. Yet you do taste the sauce like with your first bite, but then the crab just shines through. I have no doubt in my mind. Whoa. Which one, which that one crab is, is stunning. One? Okay, let's say you have some. <laughs> Boom! Wow, Ooh, wow, wow, wow. This is. Look at those Ooh. fingers. Yeah. yeah, baby. I mean, I could just go like this. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Yes. Oh, yeah. Oh, that's stunning. There's so much flavor in that bite. Down to my final piece, the final drumstick, the final claw. The joint there. Oh. oh, that just slides up. Oh, that is beautiful. There's only one thing that can make it better. It's called a rejuice. was incredible. The actual product, the crab itself, it was so meaty, it was so sweet. Uh, the pepper sauce was incredible. Uh, it's a finer dining setting and the crab is not cheap, but it really is, the quality really does stand out. It's been an amazing time to hang out with just amazing people who love to eat uh, and who are passionate about food, passionate about people. Uh, I love connecting and, and enjoying meals with people and that's really what food is about, what meals are about and the hands that prepare them and by far the most crabs in a single week that I have eaten in my entire life. I'll have all the links in the description box below so check them out down here. Uh, and again, I just wanna say a huge thank you to David the Hungry Tourist for putting everything together. Uh, he's an amazing guy and he's, he has a passion for people especially the people behind the food and connecting. And I wanna say a big thank you to you for watching this video and this entire series. Again, I'll have all the links in the description box. You can watch the entire playlist of all the videos. And yeah, huge thank you for watching. Please remember to give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it, leave a comment below, I'd love to hear from you. And if you're not already subscribed, click subscribe now and also click the little bell icon so that you get notified of the next video that I publish. Good night from Colombo, see you on the next video.